Hey foodies, thanks for watching. I'm gonna show you how to make hot cross buns. And what's great about this is you can make them with whatever ingredients you want in them. So if you like cranberries like I do, you can put cranberries in them. If you like currants, you can put currants in them. And if you want candied fruit, raisins, that's your choice. So the key to this is to use Frankie's gluten-free bread mix. This is what's the best thing when it makes gluten-free bread because the yeast and the citric acid and all those special ingredients are already in it. And we're gonna start by putting this right in. And I'm just gonna add nearly all the ingredients. I almost put in my, my fruit, that goes in last. And I'm gonna put in my butter and my cinnamon and my oil and my water and I'm gonna mix this up and when you're making gluten-free breads and pretty much anything gluten-free the key is to really mix it you don't have to worry about things getting tough because there's no gluten to form So I've given that a good mix. We're gonna crack a whole egg. And then I wanna keep the yolk for use later. So we're gonna just back and forth and put the egg white into the dish and that all goes in. And we're gonna blend that right up really, really well. So the moments come where we add our fruit and I'm gonna put in my fruit. The key is it calls for three quarters of a cup of fruit. It can be any kind of dried fruit that you wanna put in as long as it's small pieces and just put it in. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit for just a second. I'm gonna add my water with my egg, my egg yolk, and I'm just gonna mix this up. And this is what's gonna go on top of the buns. So now we pull all this out and move that over. Give me a bit more room. There we go. So we'll grab a parchment paper lined pan and I've got a portion scoop and we're gonna scoop some hot cross buns and you can do them relatively close because oh I got a little bit of cinnamon fiber there there we go because they're gonna grow a little bit and and it's okay if they touch each other because well, you're just making buns and let's put that last one there there we go so now I'm just gonna lightly brush the egg wash on all the buns here. And what's nice about this is you can smooth out all the edges, give a nice smooth edge to, to your buns. Okay, so I've got my buns done and all, all egg washed. I'm just gonna lightly press on them because I think they should be just a little bit wider there we go. There. And they're still gonna puff up, which is really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna let these rise for about 20 minutes and then I'm gonna pop them in the oven and bake them and then we're gonna take a look at them. We're gonna ice them at the, in the second part and it's gonna be all exciting. See you in a moment. Look at these buns, they look great. I've just pulled them out of the oven so they're still really warm. So I'm gonna let them cool for a minute, but while they're cooling, we're gonna make up the, uh, the icing for the crosses. So it's just simple little ingredients. I find with icing sugar, it looks like an awful lot of icing sugar compared to the amount of liquid. And that's, that's normal because icing sugar is gonna just reduce and reduce and reduce real quick. Add our ingredients. 
That's almost perfect. You want it so that when you run your spoon through it, it's, it's gonna hold its shape. It's not just gonna ooze back into what it, what it was. And you can see that it's, it's almost there. It's melting a little tiny bit. So I'm gonna add just a little tiny bit more. Probably that much. Okay. Stir. That looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. So now you're going to want to put this in a piping bag. I'm going to make a piping bag. If you're looking for instructions on how to make it, you can check the link in the description below because I've made these on camera. But it's quite simple. It's Fold it over and the other way, and you've got a piping bag. And now we put our icing in. <laughs> so I've got my icing all ready. You're going to want to make sure your buns are nice and cool before you start piping. Otherwise, the warmth is going to melt the icing right off. And that one feels pretty darn good. So I am going to just cut a little bit off the end here. And we're going to pipe on a nice cross. And there we go. Hot cross buns. I want to dig into this one and see what it's like. So let's slice it in half. Oh, look at, you can see all the fruit in there. It's, oh, and it smells so good. It's so fluffy. I can't wait to dig in. Mmm. That's really good. I look forward to reading all of your comments below on whether you've tried this or not. What's your favorite ingredient to put inside hot cross buns? Are you a traditionalist with raisins? Or maybe you like to throw caution to the wind and do a bit of cranberry and currant? Let me know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.